Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again today with the Spyderco Caribbean Salt. This is a new release and comes with LC200N blade steel. LC200N has exceptionally high corrosion resistance, similar to that of H1. Not quite that level, but very near. And it has a higher level of wear resistance giving it better edge retention than H1, somewhere between VG10 and S30V. So it's going to have a high level of wear resistance for a steel that is that high in corrosion resistance. It's got a fully flat ground blade that rides on phosphor bronze washers for very smooth operation. And as you can see, deploys very smoothly via a variety of the standard spider hole methods. Compression lock mechanism on this version, and you've got the yellow and black layer G10 for a high level of traction, even in wet conditions. Fully open back construction for lightweight and structural rigidity. Very comfortable neutral handle, got a bit of a palm swell there, and chamfered corners, but Comfortable in a variety of grips, so a very utilitarian design here. And of course that compression lock is very durable and easy to operate as well, even in gloves. You've got a two position titanium pocket clip that can be set up for tip up right or left hand carry. And it is a through lanyard design, so you can utilize that clip with the lanyard as well. And here you can see the Spider Co Caribbean in my pocket. The titanium hourglass pocket clip provides secure and relatively discreet carry, putting most of the knife below the line of the pocket. The relatively large footprint of the knife does take up more pocket space, but still allows for access to other items in the pocket. And the knife draws and deploys smoothly on the phosphor bronze washers for use. The Caribbean comes in four different variations. We have the sheep's foot blade or the leaf shaped blade, and those come in either full spider co serrations or a plain edge version. So you have four versions to choose from, all with the same 3D machined bicolor G10 and compression lock mechanism. So multiple options there for a variety of uses. And for size comparison, I'm gonna bring in a few different knives, starting with the spider co military. So you can see a smaller overall package in the Caribbean, but very nearly the same cutting edge length on here. You're really just losing that index finger choil, which as you can see, the handles of the Caribbean are designed to mimic that little integral guard there. You can see the blade thickness is gonna be very similar here. Again, slightly shorter blade, still a very fine point on that leaf shape. Here you can see the handle thickness comparison, so very similar if not identical on the handle there. And then the functional grip area here is going to be about the same on these two. You can see from the beginning of the handle here all the way down to what is essentially the end of the grip area. So you're just losing this little back area of the handle for the military length. And here we have it with the paramilitary too, so next size down in the military family. Nearly the same size here. You can see from the choil area to the end of the handle is gonna be about the same. Again, we've got a similar blade length here, a little more cutting edge on the Caribbean, but it's gonna be fairly comparable. So if you're used to carrying the paramilitary too, then carrying the Caribbean is not going to be much different, except when we look at it in the footprint. And you are going to notice that the Caribbean is just a little wider in the overall footprint there, especially down on this pommel end. And another comparison here, we've got the Manix 2 lightweight. So you can see footprint wise, you're looking at something a little more like the Manix in the height and about the same as the Manix or the Paramilitary 2 in the overall length. Now, one thing I'd like to note, a slight difference in the Paramilitary 2 and the Caribbean is the chamfer of the handle. 
So this is the pair of three that I've got in my right hand here. And you can see that they've both got a little bit of a chamfer there on the edge of the handle, which just makes it a little more ergonomic in the hand, a little additional comfort versus the relatively square corners of the paramilitary two. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the new Spyderco Caribbean Salt in LC200N. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.